Hello, I am Jasmine B. L. Kasid, BS Psychology 3B, and I am going to discuss the contributions of Edward Springer and John Holland in the field of psychology. First, allow me to share a little background about Edward Springer. So, Edward Springer is a German philosophy major who authored the book Lebens for Men or For What We Know, Types of Men. His main contribution in the field of psychology is what he identified, the six basic attitude types or values that are thought to be applicable across human time and culture. This attitude primarily arose from Springer's personal observation, general knowledge about literature, and and his psychological expertise. So, ang anim pong type of attitude na yun, according to Springer, are theoretical, utilitarian or economic, aesthetic, social, individualistic or political, and the last is traditional or regulatory, or for what we know, um, religious man. This is the theoretic attitude. Um, it is the passion to discover the truth. It is the type of person who only recognizes true or false. They are the type of people who are easily absorbed by puzzles, riddles, mysteries, strategy games, and other mystery games fall like chess. They are the type of people who has the heart for discovery. They have the unconditional love for knowledge. So, yun po yung theoretical attitude. Next is utilitarian or economic. Practical interest in money and a passion for what is useful. So, basically, ito po yung mga tipo ng tao mahilig sa investment, sa mga investment na may magiging sila pabalik. Ito yung mga tao na masasabi nating practical. If ang theoretical attitude na tao, ang nasa mindset nila ay may intellectual thrill ba yan? Tapos yung mga aesthetic attitude na tao, ang sa isip ay maganda ba? Ang mga utilitarian type of people po, sila yung mga nasa mindset nila is... May magiging ba ako dyan? Magkano? So, ang motto nila sa buhay, every investment I make must always have a greater return. So, yun yung utilitarian type of attitude. Next is aesthetic, who has a heightened sense of beauty and inner vision. So, sila yung mga tao, hindi man artist, ay may exceptional love for art. Kung ang mga theoretical na tao ay may exceptional um, love for knowledge, ito pong mga aesthetic type of person, sila yung mga tao na may um, heart sa art. So, most of aesthetic type of person has a creative mind. Kung ang utilitarian ay nasa Um, pagbalik ng pera ang kanilang ang kanilang pera yung mga aesthetic type of person ang nasa mind po nila is I will enjoy and appreciate this form harmony and beauty around me and allow it to mold me into all I can be ito yung mga taong mahilig mag-express ng kanilang um, nararamdaman through a form of art like music, art and any form of art po Social, inherent love of people, altruistic, kind, empathetic, and generous, even to their own de detriment. So, ito po yung mga taong sociable, yung mga mahilig makihalubilo. Ito yung mga taong mahilig tumulong. Ito yung mga taong may good interpersonal skill or people skills. So, ang masasabi ko, isa po tayo sa related sa may social skills is, mga taong kagaya natin na psychology student, ang gusto is makatulong, humila pa ba, pataas ng mga kapwa-tao. Um, um, ang mindset po ng social people ay, I will invest all resources into helping others to realize their full potential. So, ito po yung um, social attitude. Basically, ito yung type of people na hilain ka pataas or tutulungan ka mag -grow. So, Tara, magmahal ng social people. Sure. Next is individualistic or political. Who has a mindset of, I will achieve the highest position and will the greatest power. Sila yung mga tao na, um, ang primary interest is power. So, masasabi ko na ito yung mga taong competitive. Ito yung mga taong mahilig mag-lead. Um, one good example of individual, individualistic or political ay yung mga politicians po. The last one is traditional or regulatory. Others call it religious man. 
unity and order, their dislike, change, and chaos may also exhibit inflexibility with regard to their conviction. So, ito po yung mga traditional. Ito yung mga tao na may mindset na from the many individual meanings of life, I will interpret, understand, and seek a system for our living. So, ito yung mga tao na gusto lahat is balance, in unity. Um, these are the type of people who sees things in a different way, who tries to see things in a more meaningful way. So, these are the types of values and the, or attitudes according to Edward Springer. So, basically, we possess all of them, but we have sorted in different order of importance. So, lahat po yun, uh, pwedeng pinopossess natin, but meron nga lang po mga dominant attitude. For example, mine, ang ano po, ang dominant attitude ko is social. So, Yung iba, ang dominant attitude nila is aesthetic, utilitarian, but basically, we possess them all. Let's move on to the creator of Holland Occupational Themes, or commonly known as Holland Codes. Siya po si John Holland. Si John Holland po ay American psychologist who proposed six categories. Realistic, investigative, artistic, social, enterprising, and conventional. So, ang six categories po na to, um, nag-fit po siya sa iba-ibang environment. Of course, realistic, in a realistic environment, investigative, in an investigative um, environment, and so on. It's realistic. So, realistic are yung mga, likes to work with animals, tools, or machines. Has good skills in working with tools, mechanical, or electrical drawings. While it's practical things, and of course, they see themselves as practical, mechanical, and realistic. So, sila yung kinoconsider na doers. Sila yung mga mahilig mag-operate ng machine. So, um, madalas na field ng work nila ay um, sa mga field na nagre-require ng strength and ng mga mechanical ability. So, makikita yung mga tao na under ng realistic sa mga field na require ng pagiging hands-on. Next is social. Likes to do things to help people. Good at teaching, counseling, nursing, or giving information. See self as helpful, friendly, and trustworthy. So, I can say na tayo pong mga psychology student under po ng field of psychology ay papasok dito sa kategory ng social. Kasama po ng mga nasa education, um, ng mga nurse, o yung mga tao na requires good interpersonal skills. Ito yung, um, ito yung field na require ng pag uh, gusto ng mga tao ay tulungan ang mga kapwa-tao. This is the type of career that requires interpersonal skill um, to fit in this kind of environment. If those under realistic are good in machines, um, socials naman po ay good with people. They are compassionate. Next is investigative. Likes to study and solve math or science problems. Generally avoids leading, selling, or persuading people. Values science. Sees self as precise, scientific, and intellectual. So, ito yung mga tao who likes the challenge of knowledge or intellect. Ito yung mga tao na makikita mo sa field ng, uh, related to science. Like, um like astronomy and other field related to intellect or new discovery in field of science. People under investigative likes to observe, learn, investigate, analyze, research, evaluate, or solve problems. Uh, sila yung mga tao na nag -e enjoy sa science. Next is enterprising who likes to lead and persuade people. Good at leading people and selling things or ideas. See self as energetic, ambitious, and sociable. Value success in politics, leadership, or business. Just like the social people, um, ito pong mga under no enterprising ay good with um, people. Sila yung may good interpersonal skills, but unlike the social type of people, ay yung under po na enterprising uses this skill to persuade people. They are energetic. So, ang mga under po na enterprising ay madalas makikita sa marketing department na isang kumpanya. And the best example is politicians who goes along with people and persuading them to vote for them. Next is artistics. 
artistic, likes to create to do creative activities like art, drama, crafts, dance, music, or creative writing. Generally avoids highly ordered or repetitive activities. Has a good artistic abilities, values the creative arts, and sees self as expressive, original, and independent. So these are the type of people who likes to work in unstructured situations using their imagination or originality, creative, and expressiveness. Basically, ito yung mga tao madadalas sa makita sa mga art-related career or path. Ito yung mga tao musikero, artists, painters, or any um, career na related sa art. They uses um, their creative um, mind to express their emotion. Um, they see themselves as unique. The last one is conventional, who likes to work with numbers, records, or machines in a set, orderly way. Generally, avoid ambiguous and unstructured activities. Good at working with written records and numbers in a systematic, orderly way. Value success in business and see self as orderly and good at following a set plan. So, sila yung mga tao mahilig mag-work with data. They are the type of people who are organized. Gusto, nakaplano ang lahat. And very, very strict when it comes to instructions. So, sila yung mga tao madalas mo na nakikita o nag-work as secretary sa isang kumpanya. That's a good example of conventional. So, these, so those are the type of um, attitude according to John Holland. According to Raya Sex Theory, if a person and an environment have the same or similar codes like investigative people working in investigative um, environment and a person complements each other, then most likely, mas maganda po yung work performance ng tao. I can say na ito pong theory ni John Holland is very helpful para ma-identify kung ano yung career path ang gugustuhin ng isang tao na kagaya ko. That's all. Thank you for listening to my video discussion.